Hi guys, Dave Anderson, Heli Cool Helipad. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your support. Today we're going to be lubing and checking the oil levels of the axles, all to do with underneath Malachi. Do a little bit of preventive maintenance, so stay tuned. Well, hey guys, there's a lot of, of grease fittings uh, that we're going to have to tackle today. Uh, but first, I recommend Lucas products because and this is a non-paid advertisement but uh, I recommend this because it is a pretty good brand name and they have a very good uh, track record um, this is the red and tacky number two and it is for these type vehicles so I think that'll that'll work out really well and of course I got my handy dandy grease gun Let's get to work. All right, this is the driver's side. And I cranked my tires uh, to the right. And I might as well check out the first one that's probably the most hidden and least known. I only found out about this because it was posted on the, uh-oh. Mine's missing. It's supposed to be there. It's not there. Well, I brought these out just in case. I hope I got one in there that will fit. How in the world? I'm going to get a, a uh, grease fitting in there. All right, you have one on the very top of the hub right here. One on the very bottom of the hub. It's right here if you can if you can see it and then you have one right here this is just part of the arm that goes across stabilizer um, yeah I've got a little bit of damage here on matter of fact this thing is yep well it's toast completely gone um, well I'm gonna still goop some grease up in there and I guess I'll just have to find a replacement for these it's a good thing that you do these inspections every once in a while because this stuff can dry rot pretty easy especially if it's been sitting for a long time well, I know it's Jeter and it's redneck but just to keep the dirt out, I put a blue paper towel, folded it up, and then uh, put some some uh, Gorilla Tape around it. And uh, hopefully that will hold until I can get another one of these. Try to find it somewhere. Alright, since I'm here, there's one right there on the drive shaft, forward drive shaft. And if you follow the drive shaft up, there's another one right there on that U joint. And before you add any grease, it's always best to wipe it all down first. And that way you're not going to push any contaminants up inside where it might start uh, wearing out components a little bit quicker. Oh, 
bell while I'm at the front end. I might as well check the oil level. And it's just a half inch drive. Let me see if I can get this to camera. Ugh. Holy mackerel. Uh, someone got that German tight. Guten tight. Oh my gosh. All right, time to bring out the PV blaster. Let's see if I can get my hand first. Ugh. Of course, this is on a level surface. Oh, and it says, if there's any that comes pouring out, just to let it come pouring out so long as it's on a level surface. And there's a little bit too much in there. Oh, and it's magnetic. And I see no ferrous material built up on there. That is good. That's always nice to see. And it's really in good shape, this oil. So that is a plus. All right, this is the forward part of the rear drive shaft. And there's a Zerk fitting here. There's one inside here. And there's another one in this side here. So there's a total of three just in this unit here. All right, this is the rear differential. I already got it a little bit loose. Oh my goodness, yep, it's right cleared full. And no metal shavings. It's kind of nice that that's uh, magnetic. I like that. Hey guys, I really appreciate you watching. If you like the video, please leave a like. And if um, you would please, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Uh, it really helps uh, support the channel, and I really do appreciate it. And uh, until next time, guys, I'm Dave Anderson, and I'm signing out. Be safe, and God bless.